Sonia, do stay on because you're also looking at M&M and there the news is that they have proposed to buy an additional 17.4% stake in Swaraj Engines from Kirloskar Industries. What does this mean for all these three companies? They're all listed. Tell us more. So let me start with Swaraj Engines, right? Because that's the stock that's moving quite a bit. It's up 12% right now. It's hit a 52-week high. As you rightly pointed out, M&M already owns stake in Swaraj Engines, but now it has bought an additional 17.4% stake from Kirloskar Industries for 296 crores. Now, with this, Swaraj Engines becomes a subsidiary of M&M. And hence, M&M gets complete control of Swaraj engines, which is a big positive for the company. In any case, uh, Swaraj engines, as we know, was supplying engines to the farm equipment business for M&M, so for the tractors. And uh, the company has done very well in the past. In fact, the revenues were up 15% uh, just in FY22. And the last three years, the revenues for the company have improved substantially. Uh, now that M&M will have complete control over the management, etc., um, it is a big uh, positive for Swaraj Engines. Let's move on to Kirloskar Industries. Now, Kirlo Kirloskar Industries is the holding company of the Kirloskar Group. They will get uh, 296 crores for selling the 14.7% stake to M&M. And they'll get about 300 crores on a market cap of 1,600 crores. Uh, there's also a holding company discount that Kirloskar Industries is trading with. It, with. So um, that's the reason why that stock is up. Now, for M&M has been making all the right noises as far as uh, consolidating their business is concerned. Their focus is on the core business, both auto as well as the farm equipment space. And they're looking to get rid of all their legacy businesses even unlock more value for shareholders. Now, uh, with uh, this increase in Swaraj engine stake, um, it gives m and more control over the management. They have focused on growing the farm equipment business, not just on the top line, but reinventing the cost structure as well. Uh, in the quarter gone by, as per the latest data, they've gained about 1% market share in the farm equipment business. They had the highest domestic volumes of 112,000 units in quarter one, and the volumes itself went up about 18% on a year-on-year -year basis. Uh, also, m and is very hopeful about a 7-8% to 8 compounded growth for the tractor industry over the next seven years. And they're taking all the right steps in order to not just grow the top line, but also come out with an efficient cost structure. Hence, it's a win-win for all three companies uh, that are, uh, you know, in focus today. All right, Sonia, thanks a lot for taking us through that entire explainer.